Let's create our database. Then going to insert two data in the student's table. Let's create our index.php. Connect index.php to our database. Let's create form elements for username and password. Then going to add class attribute to control each form fields. Let's add some style to center each elements. Add some margin for each fields. Let's have two variables for each input. Let's now have our SQL query. And now let's create a function to compare user input to our data inside the table.
Then going add some JavaScript alert box to display the errors if the user input are invalid. If user input are all correct, it will redirect to login.php. Let's now check if the codes are working. Now, we're going to create the login.php file. Inside the login.php file, we're going to display user's username to check if sessions are working. And lastly, let's have logout.php to destroy sessions. That's all for today's video. Please do hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching.